Hello, my name is Daniel Carter, and I'm the president of Safety Advisors for Educational Campuses, LLC. I've worked with the Cleary Act for 28 years, helping to develop each iteration of the statute and regulations since 1992. And this is the first in a series of videos that will help explore the history and requirements of the Gene Cleary Act. And one of the common questions that we get is, how is the Cleary Act Annual Security Report distributed? And the Annual Security Report is the primary disclosure under the Cleary Act. Current students and employees, as well as prospective students and employees, are due the Annual Security Report no later than October 1st of every year. And it must be distributed through appropriate publications and mailings or on an intranet or internet website. And if it's distributed on the internet, each current employee and student is required to receive a notice through appropriate publications and mailings. And this is how most institutions of higher education today disclose their Clery Act reports. Prospective students are required to receive a notice of the availability and are entitled to obtain a copy either in print or as most do today, access it on the internet. And again, this report must be due by October 1st, and it contains three years worth of crime statistics, as well as a series of important security policy statements or summaries of the college or university's underlying security procedures, including how they secure residence halls, what they do in the event of a sexual assault, and how they respond to emergency incidents on campus. Thank you for your interest, and if you have any questions, please feel free to pose them and look for the answer in a future video. Thank you.